We're Laura and Nicholas. We have been traveling the world for the last two years. And then COVID happened. We had to stay home for a while, but as soon as borders opened in Europe, we decided to go out and explore again, which led us to France, Italy, and now the Greek islands. Hey guys! Good morning! Welcome to our Greece vlog. Uh, yesterday we arrived in Paros and we're going to show you around. We're going to rent a scooter actually right now so that we can explore the island. It is such an amazing island. I mean, we've been here for less than 24 hours and wow. Yeah, and we already love it. It stole our hearts. We're staying actually at like a little, I call it an Airbnb, but it's, we actually got it on booking.com. It's like a cute little room, cute little studio. We'll show you later, but it's super beautiful. So we're going to rent our scooter now and then it is time to explore. Yay! Okay, so I think we found a spot. Yeah. They will charge us 15 euros a day. per day. It's way better than we had at Malti Post, where it was like 45 a day. I mean, quality looks okay. Yeah. A few scratches. But... It's fine. So I actually checked online first and did a little Google search and the best price I could find was 38 euros per day. And now we're getting a similar scooter for 45 for three days. It's crazy. So if we have one tip, just go inside somewhere, ask for a price, ask what they can do and they'll give you their best price. I mean, it's been tough times for those people as well. So every extra rental is extra money. So they can make some great prices right now. Okay, so we made it to Nausa. Nausa, Nausa. I don't know how to pronounce it, but we made it. It was like a short 15, 20 minute drive or something um, from Parikia where we're staying. It's super windy. So I felt like our scooter was going like this. Anyway, we made it. So I think we're just like going to walk around, find a place to eat or drink. Maybe? Yes. Eat and drink. Eat and drink. time for a little lunch and Laura's having a Greek salad again. Yeah, I had one yesterday evening. You guys did not see that. I think but... Laura will turn into a Greek salad if she keeps eating it. I'm still waiting for my food. We are sitting at a very cute little restaurant at the harbor. Um, apparently it takes ages for food to come, so I think I'll stay hungry for a while. So Nicholas's food finally arrived. After one hour? After like one hour. But let's hope it's worth it. We're having fresh grilled octopus. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, so we had a good lunch. It was really good. We just had to wait for a very long time on the food. We spent more than two hours there for just one day. Yeah, so that was not fun. So although it was really, really good, we would not recommend it because it's just like too long of a wait. It wasn't that good. No. Not a two hour wait good. <laughs> Okay, so now we're walking around again and we're going to explore a little bit more of Nuessa and then we're gonna go and take some photos. So we're going to look for a good spot. So we just found this cute little alley right here with these pink flowers and the pink door. So we decided to take a little picture. I think we got a shot. Yeah, definitely. Laura says it looks cute. So I'm just going to believe her. We'll post a picture right here. Okay guys, so we came back to our room, the place that we're staying at, because we need to get some work done now. Oh, there's like this little patio here. Super cute and beautiful. We're gonna get some work done here now. So 
we get some work done and now we're back on the road for a sunset shoot so we found like a cute little church by the seaside i read about it somewhere on pinterest i don't think it's like a fame spot or anything but apparently you can go on the roof like you can on santorini so we're going to try and take a photo here so here on the side you should be able to go up Ooh, ow. yes it's working guys it's working! Wow, okay, it's so beautiful up here. Woohoo! We made it! So we are still looking for food. There are so many options, but everything is just full. We did not find a decent restaurant. Everything was packed. So we decided to go for something very simple, a pizza. It's like two euros, guys. We're eating for two euros. Pure veggie, two euros. This with meat, two and a half euros. But it's gonna be a cheap meal, but uh, looks delicious. So we just finished eating and Laura is already thinking about breakfast tomorrow. No, or like a little dessert. A little midnight snack. This looks really good though. Okay. Wow. okay, I need one. Good morning you guys. It is the next day. We just woke up. Um, I'm on my way now to grab some coffee for Laura and myself. So yesterday evening we had a little dinner. I don't think we vlog much anymore. Um, it's a little windy. So after dinner we went to a little bakery where we bought some typical sweet things that we're going to eat now this morning with coffee and I don't really know what we're going to do today yet, very noisy here, but uh, we'll see and we'll bring you along. So this is our little coffee spot, it's the third time we're coming here and it is so good. So what was really funny is I entered the store. Can I please have, oh, you want one normal latte with medium sugar and one soy latte with no sugar. They yeah. already knew. She already knew. That's crazy. After one day, the lady knew what my order was going to be. Wow, that's insane. Did they only have soy milk? Yes. Okay. So these are the sweet pastries I was telling you guys about that we bought yesterday after dinner. Mm. Is it good? It looks really good. Mm -hmm. Is wow. it healthy? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Okay, so we decided to come to Lefkis, which is a little town right in the middle of the island and apparently it's super super cute. Yeah, so we're going to visit it right now because it's a really hidden gem apparently. But before we came here, we just got some work done. Not really interesting for you guys. But now it's time to explore. Let's see what this place is about. By the way, the drive here is also super beautiful. Like the views are amazing because Lefkas is like a, a town which is like a little bit up in the hills. So the views are great. You can see the sea from up here and everything. First impressions of Lefkes, very beautiful, super beautiful. cute, I think, bit boring maybe. No, I think it's just like a place where you just like need to walk around, explore a little bit, um, take a few photos, just like have a glass of wine or a coffee and just like chill. I don't recommend it as a place to really stay, like to find like a hotel or Airbnb here because there's not much to do. I'd rather be close to the beach 
do that, but still, you can't miss it when you come to Cairo. So we're trying to find an Instagram spot. It's something we don't always do, like, most of the time we just try to find our own spots, like, that way we can be our creative selves and don't, like, just copy. But this one was place. too beautiful to miss out on. Who thinks we should ring those bells? Like, if you want Laura to ring the bell. We feel like the higher up you go, the more beautiful it gets and the more sweaty we get as well. It just keeps on going. It is the hottest moment of the day as well. It's so stupid. We say that every day and every day we decide to go explore at the hottest moment of the day. We still haven't found it and I'm honestly ready to just ask a stranger if they know where it is. Okay, so we found a super cute spot to have lunch right under the flowers Yay. and with a beautiful view oh the yeah flowers. and we have a view on this church gorgeous still haven't found yeah. our photos no <laughs> so laura isn't feeling too well and normally she always has a coca-cola but they don't have real coca-cola here so we are trying the greek version feeling better already it is not out it's fake coca-cola Yay, we found the spot! So this is it. Not so special. The light is really bad, so we'll have to come back. But we're just happy we found it after hours of searching. Yeah. So the next little village that we're visiting is Marpisa. Um, it's super super small and honestly I had never heard of it before but while looking up for Paros I found it on I don't know some blog or something and it actually looked super cute so we're visiting it as well I don't think there's much to do here but it looks a bit boring to me <laughs> but I think it's just like nice to just like walk around I think like in 20 minutes you've probably seen it let's Fingers see crossed. what are you doing babe no, 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 don't do it. No, don't do it. <laughs> you can ring my bell. No, don't do it, don't do it. Lavi, Lavi, don't do it. That would be like the whole village would be like, what the hell? Would wake up from their siesta. <laughs> Nicholas is a bad boy. Bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Oh my god! Oh. What? Nicholas is like a baby. He just wants to sleep. We are on our way to dinner right now. Wow, and we're trying to find a restaurant. Hello, Miss Negative. <laughs> we are on our way to dinner right now, and there is such a beautiful sunset. Let me show you guys. Okay, guys, so we finally found a place to have dinner. Thank God. I know that the light and everything doesn't look very romantic, but the place is really cool. It's a cute place. We're just like sitting under this light, which is not very romantic. But anyway, the food looks good. Enjoy, babe. Thanks, love. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day and it was a very, very short night because our neighbors just kept making noise until 2.30 a.m. I actually had to walk outside and tell them to shut the fuck up. So yeah, and then we wanted to wake up for sunrise, which obviously we didn't manage to do because we were so tired and now it is 7.30, I think. Yeah. And we are here at the same spot we were yesterday, the famous little Instagram house that we finally found and we already took some pictures yeah so i'm going to put one on my phone and check if it's good something we do a lot is we take the picture with the camera and then we transfer it with wi-fi to laura's phone and yeah. then she puts a preset on it so we just noticed right now that a person is actually living in this house and we think she is putting all kinds of stuff on her little wall so people wouldn't sit on it mission not accomplished <laughs> The shooting in Lefkus went well, 
And now we're back in Noosa because we want to grab breakfast here. But first we're going to try and take another photo. Now that there's like still no one here and the light is still good. And then we're going to find a little breakfast place. Well, actually it's a place that a lot of you guys recommended to us. So we're going to try it out. But and it only opens at 9.30. Yeah, and we still like have some time for that. So I think we'll it's still like an hour or something. At least. At least. But um, we both really need a coffee because normally the first thing we do when we wake up is drink coffee because otherwise we just cannot function and now we have to wait for our coffee nicholas is getting a bit grumpy, grumpy. <laughs> it's the same when laura doesn't get food she gets oh, yeah. angry i get nicholas get yeah just coffee less mad <laughs> Okay, so this is the spot actually where we're going to take a photo. Nicholas is not too fond of this place, right? It's just a pink door with pink flowers like you see everywhere. Yeah, and the worst part is... But hey, whatever the princess wants. Oh, <laughs> no, the worst part is that these flowers are actually fake. They're fake. Nicholas does not like fake. No, so maybe we should not take a photo. So our breakfast spot wasn't open yet, so we decided to have coffee somewhere else. Yeah, because otherwise, you know, grumpy. <laughs> we had our dose of coffee and now it is time for breakfast. Yeah. Okay, so we both tasted my avocado toast and for once I made the wrong choice. Yeah, it's actually not really good. It looks better than it tastes. It is so bland. Like, mm. Zero taste. So Laura has been looking for a face mask, a fashionable one, for a very long time, and we finally found it. It's a new accessory. It's, it's, it's a, a new accessory, yeah. It's, she it's is so, so happy. Yeah, I am. Homemade. You made them or not? Really? That's cool. This is before and after. Even more in love with you than I already was. And the good thing about it is so you can like put a filter inside, so... Extra protection. Extra protection. It's like putting two condoms on top of each other. It's never a good idea. So after breakfast and a little bit of shopping this morning, today is all about work. So we have some content creation to do. Yeah, we need to shoot for this specific shoe brand and we need to take all photos here in Greece. So yeah, so we have like a bunch of shoes with us and I'm sitting here. <laughs> I don't know. It must look so weird. I'm just like. So we're almost done actually. That was really nice. Yeah, almost done. Well, we're completely not done. Then we have to start shooting for another brand. Yeah. Let's continue though. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pack this up and then we will go back to our room, take the suitcases and then there's another shoot. Okay, so honestly today has been like, well, this afternoon has just been like, walking around like running around to get like all our content shots so and then we had to shoot for a luggage brand samsonite which is done so we're really happy with that and now right before the sun sets Don't keep me hanging <laughs> sis and now right before the sun sets we just like quickly want to get another shot for our feet and then we can drink cocktails and have dinner <laughs> Cocktails. I will be so happy when yes. this is done. So yeah, so we're going like to where this is going. <laughs> so we're going to try and take a photo right here. Well, that was a fun shoot. <laughs> So yeah, we're going back to the room now, put our suitcases back in the room and then and our equipment and then we are off for dinner. We're going to a little yeah. taverna. Nothing fancy at all, but apparently they have the best Greek, Greek food. Like seafood. What? It's seafood? Uh oh. I thought it was Yeah, like... they have Greek salad as well. Then I'm happy. See you guys at dinner. Bye. Okay, it's finally time for dinner. So what are you eating? Vegetables. <laughs> it's smoked eggplant. Do you like it? Can I have some salt and pepper too, please? Okay. Thank you so much. Nicholas is so difficult. It's really <laughs> difficult. I just like my food very sweet. Not the prettiest place, but the food is so good. Okay, so this is a place where we had dinner and Nicholas really has a connection with the owner. Bye love! Bye! Bye darling! Bye, honey. 
Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. She is so cool. Honestly, only for her already, I would just like come back to this place. Super cute. That's it. Bye. Good morning, you guys. We are back in this beautiful spot. It's very windy, so I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we are shooting some content for Manabi again. Pretty little feet. We are so ready for today. To be honest, it's already 3 p.m. We stayed in bed really late and just worked a bit this morning. So that wasn't really interesting, but... I'm hungry. And Laura is really hungry. I already went to the coffee shop twice to get her coffees. That's how tired she was. So we're gonna shoot a little now and then we will have some much deserved beach time. Hey guys, so we've been like a little bit MIA today because I was honestly not feeling super well. I had like lots of heart palpitations and I was just like feeling weak so we just like took some time to relax and chill. We went to a beach, got some sleep. Um, got some Coca-Cola. Got some Coca-Cola because that always helps. It's so weird but it does help. But I'm feeling much better now and of course we still need to eat. It's our last evening here in Baros and tomorrow we're going to Milos. So we're really excited for that. First food. Sardines are coming. Oh, that's easy. Our secret, Thank you so much. Uh, the table moves and this makes me very oh. angry. Oh. That's okay. No, 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 I must fix it. I won't feel good. <laughs> so these are the sardines. Super fresh and fried feta cheese like honey and with sesame around it because it's like a super famous dish here so we had to try it. Yummy! Let's do it! Next dish. Okay guys, it's time to say goodbye to our room here on Paros. So sad! We're really gonna miss it. But now we're going to take a ferry to Milos. We're super excited for that because that's like a new destination again. But first, the struggle with all the luggage and taking the ferry and everything. Okay, now I need to stop vlogging because otherwise I cannot walk. We're having a little snack right now in the harbor before taking the ferry to Milos. It has been delayed for two hours. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Somebody's going to be jealous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. The only thing we can do is just wait. And eat and, and drink. And eat and drink and that's it. But we hope you guys enjoy a little bit of Paros. We know that we mostly show you all the towns here. And honestly, Paros is known for the picturesque and beautiful towns. They're not so much known for their beaches, which doesn't mean that they don't have beaches. They do, but they're not the as most, pretty as yeah. in Milos, where yeah. we're going next. Exactly. So we just thought, let's not do any beaches here in Paros and just do only beaches in Milos. Exactly. So like Milos will be focusing on beautiful beaches and here in Paros we just focus on beautiful towns because that's what they're known for, both islands. That's a little bit of info that I just wanted to give you guys. <laughs> Peace out. See you in Milos.